Okay, if I can just share the mic with you, maybe I'll put yeah. it here. Is that yeah. okay? Cool. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my, my name is Nigel. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Venus. Venus. Nice meeting you, Venus. Nice meeting you. And a uh, question for you. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? Um, I don't personally believe in the afterlife, but okay. I... I like other people's ideas of it, you mm -hmm. know, like the different religions have their own ideas of the afterlife, but the, they all, they're all shared, so there's yeah. similar sort of ideas throughout them, the idea of the heaven and the hell, um, you know, really interests me, and I think, you know, I'm not religious at all, but I think religion challenges people to be good people, okay. I think that's what, it, to me, that's what it's designed to do, so, mm. you know, those who believe in the afterlife as a consequence should be striving to do good. Okay. Um, I, I like the yeah. I like the idea. I think like that's it. the general thing. But um, I really struggle to believe in any kind of spiritual thing. I'm okay. almost totally atheist. All right. Okay. So in your world, you have heard about religion. You have done some homework, and you have seen that it uh, pushes people to be morally good, mm -hmm. to be good people. Yeah. And uh, but you don't believe in it. No, I uh, no spiritual experiences. No, not really. I think so. Um, I haven't lost a lot of family or friends, so I feel like I have a kind of distant experience with death, especially at this point in time. It's been quite a few years since I've lost someone. So okay. I think you know it's something that I feel ref you refresh as you have an experience about death. All oh, right. Okay. Now you mentioned something where mm -hmm. you said uh, I've seen that religions pushes people to do good and all that. Mm. Uh, I myself am a Christian, mm -hmm. so I hope I will answer you in a different way than uh, other Christians have done. Yeah. Um, so I believe sure. that there are two places where people go. Mm. There is a place of punishment, mm. which obviously you know as hell. Mm -hmm. Then there is also a good place, heaven. Yeah. And my desire yeah. is for everyone to enter heaven. Mm -hmm. And I like to talk more on heaven than the other place because yeah, there's nothing good to talk about yeah. other place you know i don't want to scare people mm -hmm. into heaven where yeah. they make a decision because they are afraid to go there people must have their free will to choose mm -hmm. what they want mm -hmm. and earlier on you said you respect people's opinion which is also a good thing that i also try to do yeah. now according to the god of the bible we have all seen mm -hmm. we all of us we have all seen mm -hmm. but he did something that none of us should perish his desire is for all of us to be with him for eternity so he demonstrated his love by giving us jesus mm. i'm sure you've heard about jesus so jesus came not to start a religion but after jesus had died fulfilled his assignment people went on to start their own things mm -hmm. So religion is man-made. Mm -hmm. It comes to cause wars, yes. problems, mm -hmm. manipulates people, takes advantage, abuses. Mm -hmm. And if you follow a lot of people who say their own religions, most of them, they abused their followers. Mm -hmm. They abuse the women. Because a, a, a religion is like a cult. Yes. Some okay. say like a, there's a hierarchy that you need to follow. Those who are at the top, they enjoy all the benefits. Yes. They take advantage above. The rest you know but they also force what they believe on you mm. sometimes if you are in anything that forces you by force if you choose to leave it and they kill you mm -hmm. then it's not from god no you, you understand so mm -hmm. religion must give someone a free will to choose Absolutely. what they want so that, that, i totally agree with that it's, you agree with you that? know re religion it can be a force for good and bad it's not it's not a black and white sort of picture but the end of it it does more harm mm -hmm. than good. Mm -hmm. It does for a short period. Mm -hmm. But now, the difference with Jesus is this. Christianity is followers of Jesus. Mm. Living under one commandment. Do you know which one? Uh, to love thy neighbor. Love. Because with love, you fulfill all the other commandments. Yes. With love, there is joy. You yourself, you have your own joy. Mm -hmm. You have peace. Not peace with money, peace with what, but just peace that surpasses all understanding because it is God who has given you that peace by His Spirit. Mm. In love, there is no pride, there is humility, mm -hmm. there is self-control. Love is patience, kindness, holiness, 
strives to please others, wants to treat others like it wants to be treated. So this is the message of Jesus. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So for you, I don't want you to be in any religion, mm. but I pray that one day you also come to a place where you know that I'm also a sinner. Mm -hmm. Because all of us, we have sinned. Uh -huh. If I were to ask you, like, have you ever lied in your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Ever stolen anything small or big? Yeah. Of which makes you a what? Sinner. A lying thief. <laughs> lying thief. <laughs> <laughs> a sinner, yeah? Yeah. So all of, all of us, we've done all those mm. things. But God's love was demonstrated when he sent a man to die for our sins. Yeah. Now, the question will be, when are you going to receive Jesus? Oh. When are you going to... When you are you going to repent wow. to say, Jesus, I've heard about religion, but I don't want to be in religion. I want to be a follower of you. Mm -hmm. When are you going to do that? So I, I, think, I think that's something that I've actually been exploring recently, that okay. because I don't feel the spirituality, it doesn't mean I can't show it to others, be a good person. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, as this, because this country is quite Christian-oriented, I feel I've had a lot of sort of teaching about the Bible and that kind of thing, but not, yes, of course. Sorry. so I, I feel that I don't, uh, I have experience with the, the teachings of the Bible, but not the actual practice of the, of the teachings. And I okay. think that, you know, that's something that I would like to. Okay. So to be a follower of Jesus, there's going to be demand on your life. Mm. There's going to be sacrifices that you need to make mm. because to carry your cross daily, in this world where evil flourishes yeah. where people are promoting evil the agenda of the enemy is to destroy families to destroy what god has put for mankind you as a believer should you choose to become one you need to know that you are entering into a battlefield there are two kingdoms at war light and darkness and the devil will do everything to make sure that you die without god you can die knowing that oh you need to be good but if you are good not have been accepted Jesus as a Lord and Savior, not yet as a follower of Jesus, the Bible says you perish. Mm -hmm. Because the one who is Jesus, he has life. Mm -hmm. So my message to you is repent and start following Jesus. If you do that, you make it. Uh, I don't know if it is something uh, that you have heard before, the way I presented it, mm -hmm. or uh, because many times people are given religion. Yeah. I'm trying to introduce you to a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. where it's not about doing things to tick boxes so Absolutely. that they are accepted. Mm -hmm. You know, religion teaches you, pray, uh, for example, for some five times a day for you to be accepted. But who likes to live by those rules? Yeah, you should hold it in your heart, not in your practices. And, and you should do things because of your love to because do. Because of your love. Not because you are because being... Because you're being told. Of being told, you know. Yeah, of because course. Because for people who want to live under certain things, like you need to visit this place, you need to respect this one, you need to do this... If you ask them, if you've done all of them, they've not done all of them. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a lot to ask Because it was man-made. Yeah. You know, so religions are there to divide people from the truth. The truth is that God never had in mind a religion, but he wanted a personal relationship. All of us. Yeah. So, again, I will ask this one as my last one. When are you going to follow Jesus? When are you going to also make a decision to say, Lord Jesus, I choose to repent. You know, I can't say... I can't say for sure, you know, I can't say for sure, but if I can get, if I can develop myself a personal relationship, then... Uh, but to, for you now to, to develop this personal relationship, Jesus must become Lord of your life first. Mm -hmm. Because without his spirit in your life, you will not be able, mm -hmm. you will not understand the scriptures. because. As many as he received them, he gave them the Holy Spirit. Mm. So the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God himself coming to help you so that even in the weaknesses that you still have, because when we all come to Jesus, we don't come perfect. Mm -hmm. We come with our shortcomings. We come with our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But the Spirit of God will begin now to, to it's like having a traffic light in your life. Yeah. When you are going towards danger, there is an amber. Mm -hmm. Then there is a red. So the Spirit of God will begin to navigate in your life and show you that don't go that way. Mm -hmm. Or don't say, don't respond like that. Before you respond, you are thinking, is this, if it was Jesus in my shoes, how would he respond? Love. Love, does it argue like this? That it respond? No, no, no. So the Spirit of God can help you navigate. Mm -hmm. It gives you peace, joy, and everything else. So I pray that you 
the heaviness in Lord of your life. Uh, I, I know I'm talking and talking and talking. Do you have some questions for me? Um, so do you feel that you fit into a specific brand of Christianity? Uh, all those groups, mm -hmm. they are made, men made. Yeah. So you know, and because uh, the the interpretation of scripture, mm, yeah, they have also been manipulated by others. Absolutely. That's why we have had reformations. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, for example, the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Before there is a time, I mean, I, I can talk about them, but I don't, I don't want this to be part of it. But there are people like Martin Luther who also came out of them the time of reformations because they used to say you can pay some money mm -hmm. if you go to purgatory yeah. so so that your sins will be forgiven and you can come out yeah. but the teachings of the bible once you're in hell you can never come out mm -hmm. yeah so because of those teachings where people agree disagree and others are saying you are saved by your works mm -hmm. no works no amount of works can save you because if I were to ask you what standard, how much would must I do to know that now I'm right with God? Nobody has got no. the standard. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells us that by grace we are saved mm -hmm. through faith. It is the gift of God so that no one will boast. Mm -hmm. In other words, no one could keep God's commandments. Those commandments, when we look at them, all of us, we are guilty. Mm -hmm. Have you ever lied? Guilty. Have you ever stolen? Guilty. Have you ever heard other gods use the name of God in vain? There are many of them, mm. guilty, guilty, guilty. And they went even beyond the Ten Commandments. There were other civil laws, ceremonial laws. And the, the Bible goes on to say, if you break one of those commandments, you've broken all of them. Yes. Yeah. In other words, all of you, you've come short. Mm -hmm. So that you can say, Lord, have mercy. And what is the mercy? Mercy is Jesus who came to die for our sins. Yeah. yeah? Now, I preached to you, <laughs> presenting the gospel. And uh, my prayer is for you to make that decision and when i ask you when are you gonna make that decision to 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 repent i'll just use this as an example if we are on a plane right now and we run out of fuel and the pilot says guys we're not gonna make it yeah then i turn up and i hey i've got two parachutes mm -hmm. put this one on when are you gonna <laughs> put it on would you take it mm, see that yeah that is the question Will you take okay. it or will you say, Nigel, I think something is just going to happen supernaturally that we are going to have a safe landing. Mm. What would wisdom mm -hmm. say? Well, wisdom would say take the parachute. Take the parachute mm -hmm. because you can save your life. Yeah. You don't know when you are going to die. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are fit, we are in good health like this, everything is going on well, we are doing our assignments, everything is going well. But people can have a food, food poisoning, mm -hmm. an earthquake can happen, yeah. people can die anytime. Don't wait until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How about you put on the parachute now? Yeah. I think... You know, you... you so, I mean, you've absolutely opened my eyes to, to ways of thinking. Um, Maybe let me bring another one. I'm your doctor. Then you turn up and I do a yearly exam. I check you. Then I see that in your body, there is something that is going to take your life in the next week. Mm. Then I break down the news to you. I'm sure you're going to be, oh, doctor, I've got dreams. Do you know that I'm in my final year? Mm. I'm looking forward to have a family. I want to leave. What can be done? If I say 5,000 uh, 5, mm. pounds, then you can have this medication. I'm sure you can go to any bank and borrow that money if you don't have it. Mm. You might sell something so valuable so that you can leave. Yeah. Now, if I say I've got that cure, you are so glad. Oh, there's a cure for it. When would you take this cure? Well, you would take it. As straight soon as away. Possible. Yeah. You have Jesus straight away. Mm -hmm. So that whatever happens in life, when you're with Jesus, it is well. Mm -hmm. Once you're with Jesus and you're following him, he begins to open up your life. What do I mean? The will of God for your life, you get to know. Mm -hmm. Can I show you one verse? Mm -hmm. Just one verse? I don't know how many minutes you have, but I will try to be quick and let you go. Um, uh, <clears throat> let me open Jeremiah. It's in the Old Testament. Do you have a Bible? Um, I don't own one. Don't own but... one. Okay. I encourage you to get one. Yes. Jeremiah ch chapter 29. So this is uh, <clears throat> three verses I'm giving to you. Okay. What did he say? 
you want to read out loud? I guess, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an, an, ex, an expected end. Mm -hmm. Then she, shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. I will listen to you. Uh -huh. And you shall seek me and find me, and when you shall search for me with all your heart. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So God says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil and to give you an expected end. This, uh, just to give you a short summary of it, it was written to a nation, the nation of Israel. They had God. They were nothing. They had nothing. But God made them his people. And when God made them his people, a time came when they left God. Then they started minding their own business. Then they got in all sorts of troubles. And after they'd gone through many hardships, it was when God then sent a, a, a prophet who says, Hey, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. You are still my people. I still want to bring something good out of you. I still want to do good in your lives. Not thoughts of evil, but thoughts of good. So even for you, I don't know where you have been, how far you are, but God says, I love you so much. And I demonstrated my love by sending my son to die for your sins. The Bible says, the world is saved through the preaching of the gospel. Good news. So that's why I don't like to talk about hell, mm. because that's not good news. Mm -hmm. Good news is telling you that a savior came to die for you, so that you, with an open mind, you can make a decision. Do I choose life or do I choose death? Mm -hmm. Would I want to receive him as my personal Lord and start following him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this portion, I pray that you take it to your heart, mm -hmm. because God will restore you. You will know your assignment, why God has put you on earth, mm -hmm. so that you are not busy in the wrong thing. Sometimes we are frustrated because we don't really know what is it? Even some of the courses we pick, we don't even know why we pick them. You know, we are always like, oh, this job, this job, because we are not doing what we have been called for. Okay. So I pray that you also get to know what God has created you for, put you on earth for. You are different, unique in your own way, and I pray that you be a blessing to our world. After that one question that I asked you, please, when are you going to repent? You know, it won't be long. <laughs> Today. I... I will repent today. 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 What about now? Now. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is the Lord? <laughs> I'm happy. So, I'm, I'm so much happy for you. Mm. The Bible says, when you declare publicly before the whole world that I want to repent now and I'll follow Jesus from now onwards, there is joy in heaven. And making that decision uh, is one thing. I would encourage you also to go and get yourself in a good Bible-believing church. Mm. Yeah, a church where you are taught the word of God and diluted so that you become who God has called you to be. There are many churches, but be found in a right one. I'll give you a card and uh, where you live, I'll try also to check because I, I have got a bit of knowledge on what to look in a church so that you go in a good church so that you grow in God, grow to know uh, everything you need to know. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll pray with you. Is it okay if I pray with you? So, uh, can you just pray this prayer? A number of people pray it. It means nothing, but the commitment to follow Jesus is the main thing. Okay. For some people, it will mean nothing, but I, I, I choose to pray with people that prayer. So, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. What's your full name? Venus Hale. Venus Hale. Okay. Lord Jesus, I Venus Hale. Lord Jesus, I Venus Hale. Today. Today. I've heard the good news. I've heard the good news. You came to die for my sins. You came to die for I my sins. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. The way I used to think. The way I used to think. I change my mind. I change my to mind. Follow you. To follow you. May my name. May my name. Be in that book of life. Be in the book of life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Fill me. Fill me. With your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. That I know how to live for you. That I know how to live for you. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I'll just pray for you as well. For Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, she's your daughter. And Lord, I thank you for your grace, your salvation that you brought through our Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that you connect her in a good Bible-believing church. All the answers she has desired to know, I pray that revelation, knowledge, and understanding will be a portion. When she opens the scriptures, I pray for understanding. Choose a father in our time. May she, she fulfill your assignment on this earth so that in, in that day you say, well done, my daughter. You, you stood the test of time. You did your part. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Father, for you. I pray for good health. 
even uh, whatever she will do in life, the courses she's doing at uni, not that praise passes with distinctions. May she do more than she has ever dreamed of because you are on her side. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. I pray that God will do you good. Hallelujah. I feel like hugging you. And <laughs> Uh, do you have any question for me? Uh, no, it's been fantastic. It's a really interesting conversation. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I love to go out, speak with people, yeah. and uh, I love to ask them this question, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? Because mm -hmm. it opens up, it breaks the eyes. Mm -hmm. Then I introduce also the gospel, what I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, Sometimes when you go out and you begin to say, Jesus, Edu, people run away, they say, I'm not religious. But like I was ministering to you, I'm sure you are seeing that I'm not presenting to you a religion, but to enter into a personal relationship and be a follower of Jesus. Yeah. Bless you, sister. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the mic. Is that okay? Okay, fantastic. All right.